Hello everyone, welcome back to Face the Black Nation. So like I may mention that I wanted to talk about this book that you can see on the screen. It's called The Gay BCs. Now, this here is very disturbing. It is very disturbing. And I would not be surprised if they have something like this um, in your children's room at school. You know, in the library, I would not be surprised. But if they are, please listen to this video. Now, I'm going to get into what these alphabets stand for. But I want to go into the alphabets that, you know, stands out to me. And I'm also going to post the link as well. <clears throat> I'm going to post the link as well. Excuse me. Um, to so that you can see what these alphabet stands for. And I'm also going to post the link to the author. His name is Matt Webb, M.L. Webb, who is the author of the book called The Gay BCs. Now, I want you to listen. This is taken from the Chicago Tribune. I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. Now, Matt Webb, who's 33 years old, keep in mind his age. 33 years old okay now this article came out in 2019 so so he is right now 37 so all right in 2019 he was 33 however in 2023 he is 37 all right we got the age out the way now it is being said in the article, Chicago Tribune article, that Matt was five years old when he became aware of his gender identity and sexual orientation. Now, the only time everyone knows this is not something new. Everyone knows that when a child knows about their identity, it's because something happened to them. They have been touched. So something already happened to them. And... That is the way how they figured out if they are a boy or a girl because of an adult, a sick adult, took advantage of them. Next, according to the article, he is a native of McMinnville, Tennessee, said he was in karate class when he realized he was different from his brothers. He said, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was happening. And I remember being very scared and vulnerable. And he said, I couldn't tell anybody and ask what this mean. Now, I have to call a lie on this because you're in karate class with your brothers and you are doing sportsman like and you mean to tell me that while you was in class that you felt some type of way, you felt some type of way that you automatically knew that you were gay no nah. but here's what really scared me though the article again 2019 the article says he was 33 so three years ago from 2019 so that made him 30 Webb said who is a graphic designer and illustrator was holding his newborn nephew he again felt paralyzed with fear 30 years old held his newborn nephew this is what he said i thought oh no i came from a small conservative town in tennessee what if he grows up here in tennessee and what if he's gay what if he's bi what if he identifies as lgbtq what would happen to him and he went on to say i thought about that and i wish there was some way i could teach the people around him Something that my nephew could grow up reading and learning. And then he said, I'm going to create a book. Now, why would he say he was paralyzed with fear when he was 30 years old holding his nephew? His newborn nephew. Remember what I just said in my previous article. I mean, my previous video. Remember what I just said is that they are trying to make pedophilia legal they are doing this and they are working very hard to make it legal so you mean to tell me at the age of 30 years old you started to think about what if he's gay what if he's bisexual 
You automatically went there with a newborn baby who doesn't know anything. It's just a, a clean slate. He doesn't know anything or what's going on around him. You mean to tell me you automatically went that way? This is how I know that something had to happen to him when he said he felt some type of way about his sexual orientation when he was five years old. This is how I know that something must have happened to him. Allegedly, I'm going to say, allegedly, something must have allegedly happened to him when he was five years old. You cannot tell me that something did not allegedly happen to him because for you to sit up and to think that when you hold your newborn nephew, the first thing out of your mouth was, is he gay? Is he going to be bi? What is he going to identify himself as? Instead of saying, oh my goodness, I'm so happy that I have a nephew. I love my nephew. My nephew is beautiful. The most precious thing that I've seen in the world. Something is very wrong with that. That all that did would just raise my um red flags about me and around me. All right, so the article goes on to say this is what Matt said in the Chicago Tribune article. He said young people begin to develop identity based markers and categories at two years old so it's never too early to introduce identity and diversity to young people particularly in the structure of picture books now i don't know if you all remember the video that i have done about that um transgender uh, uh, another transgender who went and did that killing spree where she has deleted Three children as well as three adults, I believe. And they said in order to try to make people garner sympathy or empathy for her is that they was like she was an excellent drawer that she could have been an illustrator for a children's book. That immediately put me into the mindset of this guy, a Matt, saying that he knew that he wanted to create a book that was going to cater to children who comes out with their sexual identity. Now, like I said, if it's a, t- a two-year-old, a two-year-old does not know if they are a boy or a girl. A two-year-old only knows, I want this toy. I want to play with this toy. I know mommy and I know daddy. I see auntie. I see grandma. I see grandpa. I see uncle. That's what they know when they are two years old. You want to know why? Because you don't want to introduce them to something that is an adult while they are a child. You don't want to introduce something that is meant to be for an adult while they are a child. So we have this guy, Webb, Matt Webb, who obviously is part of the uh, was part of the community because he over here talking about when he felt some type of way when he was five years old but then at the same time like i said when he held his newborn nephew at the age of 30 he felt paralyzed with fear and then he started asking what if he grows up in tennessee and he's gay or bi or identify as an lgbtq you allegedly something happened to you mister something happened to you or i didn't want to go down this path or maybe Matt has some feelings or lust after children. Yeah, I said it. Maybe he has some thoughts or some feelings after children. Remember, we have individuals that wants to make pedophilia a sexual orientation thing only. That you cannot help but to be attracted to young children. And that you should be able to have your way with young children. I have a problem with that. And if you are a parent, you should have a problem with that as well. So let's go right ahead and get into the book. The Gay BCs. Now for A, A is for Ali. Now listen to this. A friend who is there to stand up for you with strength, love, and care. Now they spell Allie with A L L Y. What they what Matt really wanted to say was ally. 
That's what he really wanted to say. And the reason why I said allies because this shows in the photo, in this picture of a girl greeting a boy. Look like at his house with open arms. And they is saying, and he is saying that it is a friend who's going to stand up for you with strength, love, and care. And what is it that in the gay community, what they look for? They look for allies. They look for allies for people who's going to be on their team to protect them. Give them the strength that they need in order for them to continue on with this alternative lifestyle that they are leading. So that is exactly something that they need. But instead, Matt, he's already doing something that's sinister by calling someone Ally instead of saying ally. Now, again, this is for children. B is for bi. It goes on to say, you can shout it out loud. I like boys and girls, and that make me proud. And in this photo, it shows two boys playing with toys. That's what it shows. Now, you are teaching a two-year-old, because remember, in the article, in the Chicago Tribune article, he said that children, some type of way, even though there's no studies being done by that, no, again, remind you, there's no studies that has been said that children identify, knows how to identify with their sexuality at the age of two. No studies being done. But Matt is saying that they understand their sexual orientation by the age of two years old. So why are you teaching a two year old, two years old, the word be for bi, bisexual? Why is this being taught to your children? Parents. You should be strongly against this. If you see a book like this in school, you should really be talking to the teachers and you should be letting them know how very egregious and disappointed you are in seeing this because this is a book for grooming. This is a book for grooming our children. That's what this book is all about. Grooming children so that they can easily be preyed upon by predators. Now let's look at C. C is for coming out. You're ready to share what you, what you feel deep inside. It's okay to be scared. And in the photo, it shows a boy, two boys, two boys coming out of a closet. It shows two boys coming out of the closet. I'm not lying. That's just why I said I am going to post a link inside of the um, description so that you can actually read it yourself. It has two boys coming out of the closet. Closet. So why in the world do you have two? How come it couldn't just be one? Are you trying to sit up and say that they were doing something in the closet? This again goes back to grooming. This again goes back to the sick and depraved mindset that these individuals have. And that they want to have against our children. They want this to be upon our children. They want to have this type of mentality to be pressed upon our children so that our children, when in a male adult or female, but when a male adult comes against a child, then they're going to be like, hey, B is for bi. The pedophile might have this book, okay? A pedophile might have this type of book in, in their uh, library, so when they are walking upon a child and the child remembers this book from being read in school, they're going to think that everything is okay. Man, I'm telling you how sick these people are. I'm telling you how sick they are. This is exactly what is going to happen. So if anything, please share this video because it is very important. Now I want to go to the next alphabet, D. D is for drag. You can strut and dance in the clothes that you love, dresses, heels, or pants. And it shows two boys. It shows, no, it shows one boy, look like in a dress, and a girl, she dressed in her father's clothes or in male clothes. And they got heels and makeup all around, and it shows the boy with makeup on. That's what it shows. D is for drag. And we all heard of RuPaul Drag Race. That is like the biggest thing ever. It won 
Emmys and stuff like that, you know, because everybody with them and and they're coming out. C is for coming out. Everybody's coming out and carrying on, and they're doing all of this other type of stuff, and they. Basically, because I don't know if you guys saw that there's some videos. You could Google it. You could Google it. You could just type in boy drag. Just type in boy drag. And you will see, of course, it's a little white boy who's dancing, dressed up in drag, in front of a group of men. Okay? And then when people was questioning his parents... His parents was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's like, are you serious? You're literally putting your child in front of a group of grown men. Okay? They all probably got their heart on just by watching this child take off his clothes to dance in front of you. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what is wrong with you? See, if you just like they have these drag queen reading book hours at the libraries or at schools, if I was a parent, my child would not be participating in any of that. My child would not. And then you have these drag queens that be wearing skimpy clothes. You be seeing their stuff being tucked. You know how they have to tuck themselves. You be seeing them, you be seeing all that extra stuff when they do their splits. And then when they do their splits, they like to do a hump with their splits. And thinking that that is okay. That is not okay. That is something that no child should be witnessing at all. No child should be witnessing that. Now, I am going to skip over. Well, I'm just going to say E is for equality. F is for family. G. Now G is for girl. I mean for gay. Now this here is very scary in this photo. But let me read it. G is for gay. It is a word that implies you're a girl who likes girls or a guy who likes guys. How come they couldn't say boys? Well, they know that it would have been wrong. If he would have said boys like boys, he know good and well that he would have been in the wrong and this doggone book would not have been published. But in the photo, in the drawing, that's what it is. It's a drawing. It shows two boys. It shows two boys playing on the windowsill in the rain. But they got like this saber lights. The, what you call those saber things that um, you see in Star Wars? Star Wars? Well, anyway, they look like swords and they're playing with each other with these swords. Now, there is a saying that um, within that community it's called a sword fight where they use their, you know what, to play with each other. They use it to play with each other. So this is being pushed onto our children to groom our children saying that it is okay if you have another friend who is a boy and you want to play with yourself and you want to play with each other. You can go right ahead and do that. That is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. When there is something wrong with that, that, that is very disgusting. Again, they are pushing adult mindset onto a child. Now, remember, this guy, he's saying that he wanted children from the ages of two to five on up, two to five, to have something like this because a child at the age of two can identify themselves as to who they are. Because remember, he said, Matt said, which is his name, he said that he knew something was wrong with him when he was five years old because based off of him, his feeling, and then when he was in karate class with his brothers, he knew that he was different. Which is why I said that allegedly someone messed with him. Someone messed with him. Now the letter H is for hope. H is for hope. Dream up a life you love. The sky is the limit. Shoot for the stars above. Now that is as far as this book go. Because you had to um, buy it. But I remember listening to uh, someone else. Who said that. T 
T, the letter T is for trans. Um, and Z, the letter Z is for zest or zesty. I kid you not. So they are teaching grown stuff to our children. That is not meant to be for our for children. Stuff like this is only should be for adults, not for children. I'm telling you, parents, if you see something like this in your class, in your child's classroom, you need to point this out to the teacher. Something like this should not be taught to your two-year-old, your three-year-old, your five-year-old, your six-year-old. I don't care. They should not be learning about sexual orientation at that age. Let kids be a kid. Whatever happened to that? They, see, they trying to groom our children so that they can be easily preyed upon by sick, deviant individuals like Matt Webb. When Matt Webb said when he was he said three years ago, when she was at the age of 30, when he said that he held his newborn nephew, he said he was paralyzed with fear. Why were you paralyzed with fear? You should have been happy to see your newborn nephew. Why would you automatically think and say, is he going to be gay or is he going to be bi or is he going to be part of the LGBTQ? Why would you automatically think that way? What would possess you to think like that? This is why I said that something allegedly had to take place with him when he was young. The only way I knew about who I was at that age is because I had something happen to me at the age of five and at the age of six. I knew something that happened to me before that. I didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know what sex was. I didn't even know what it was. I did not know what it was. I did not know about a male genitalia. I did not know anything about that. As watching my, my brother, watching my cousins, seeing them all when they were babies and growing up. The only thing they know is about playing. That's all they know. All they know is about playing with their toys and, and enjoying the, the imagination having the imagination, and just enjoying being a child. What is wrong with these people allowing a, ch a child enjoy their childhood? It's like they just want to continue to press themselves upon children just to take away their childhood. That's what they want. They want to be able to take these innocent beings and ruin their childhood. Okay? That's what they want. They don't want a child to, because see, they don't real no, no, they realize it. They just don't care that the damage, the psychological damage that is going to cause these young children. They don't care about that. They don't care. The only thing that they caring about is themselves and themselves only their mindset and how they feel and how they could get their rocks off. That is exactly the only thing that they caring about. They could care less about that child. They love to say, oh, I love children. Oh, I love this. I love. Yeah, you love children in the wrong, sick, depraved way. That's what you love children. You love them in a sick, in a depraved way. That is it. So I do hope that everyone who listened to this video found something that is useful about this video. And um, please, please, parents, especially black parents, sit your child down. Let them know about the monsters that is out here in this world that wants to take advantage of them. Monsters can come into any type of authority figure or your family members or your family friends. Like I said, I had a family friend who took advantage of me when I was six. The babysitter's son when I was five. So I'm not trying to say this to scare parents, but it is real out here. We have we are living in a world of sick and depraved people, the depraved adults, whether you are male or a female, they want to have rights to your children and they don't care how they are going to get them so please sit with your children let them know what's going on 
You have to teach your children early because they going after our babies at the age of two. They got books that's catering to our children at the age of two to teach them about the LGBTQ. So you know what that means? You as a parent, you're going to have to get in the front of this and jump on board and say, no. Tommy or Sally, if anyone were to come down to try to touch this area, you stand up and you say no. And you be firm with it. And you scream and you run. You scream and you run. You run for help. You scream for help. You do that. You tell them no. You have to teach your children. Because these demons out here. That's exactly what they are. These demons out here. Are trying to get your children. So I do hope that everyone has uh, appreciated this video. And you have a wonderful day.